Hi everybody, and welcome to Rich Enix Gaming. Oh my god, this commercial is extremely annoying. Um, all that dinging, I don't know if you could hear it. Anyway, that was a great way to start this nice little video, isn't it? Uh, today we're going to be talking about skills and skill tokens. I promised to do that before the end of the season uh, during the Legend League, and I didn't. And for that I apologize. But I have continued to receive questions regarding it. So, we're going to do it. So, the first thing is uh, skills are found in the upgrade section. Uh, they are in the bottom, uh, in the middle uh, of each player's, uh, you know, it's labeled skill. It's next to accessory, it's underneath like their tier and their levels. Uh, and then so you go into the skill section by clicking on one of the skills for a player. It'll show you the one that uh, you clicked on is highlighted and it gives you the description for it below. Uh, well that's if you level it up. That's if uh, that's what it's currently at. Alright, so skill tokens are uh, simply like another form of currency. Uh, you need both skill tokens and gold to upgrade skills. You can only have two skills selected per player at a time, and you, you can actually only have one of each kind of skill. So there's the, there's the offense skill and the defense skill. Um, so, we can just go through these, um, everybody has the same skill options available to them, um, pitchers obviously have different skills than, uh, like position players and batters, but, uh, they all have the same, uh, available, like starting pitcher and relief pitcher, they both have the same skills available to them. Alright, so, we're gonna go from... Uh, left to right, down. Um, position, uh, precision swing is plus one contact, plus one batting eye. Power swing is plus one power, plus one batting eye. Deception is plus one contact, plus two speed. Tenacious play is plus, uh, well, uh, it's at level four, so I'm assuming it was plus one batting eye, plus two speed. Um... Contact hitter is contact plus three, plus two batting eye, but it's only on a hit until the end of the game. Uh, I mean, what? That does honestly, that doesn't really make sense. Like, it's only good for one hit. It's only good for hitting until the end of the game. That like they're all only good until the end of the game. Unexpected hit is uh, oh my God. is uh, this is plus four power, but only when you're losing. Concentration is contact plus two, batting eye plus two, speed plus two, but again only when losing. Clutch hitter is contact two, power one, only when someone else is in scoring position. Uh, now for defense, uh, strong arm is throwing plus two when fielding. Uh, they're all going to say when fielding. Uh, it's just to specify that it's for this player while they're on the... F like, throwing is obviously when fielding. Like, who the hell is throwing when they're running the bases? But speed and uh, speed and agility needed to be uh, specified in that sense. Uh, positioning level one is speed plus two when fielding. Quick decision is agility plus two when fielding. Nice catch is fielding plus two when fielding. Ooh, when else are you going to field? Sharp throwing is throwing plus five when fielding when someone is in a scoring position. So it's a very specific thing. Uh, like, that's pretty good for, like, a catcher. Uh, it's probably the picture that they have down here. And the one I have selected for him is speed and throwing. Uh, at level one, it was plus one, plus one, I think. 
It's when fielding in a winning or tied game. So you can just keep pulling further ahead, or if you're tied, it helps you pull ahead. Uh, turn the table is fielding two, agility two, when fielding in a losing or tied game. That's another good option, because if you're losing, you need the extra help. And spirited play is speed two, agility two, when fielding, if recording a hit when batting. So if you have, you know, even if you've only hit one single for five at-bats, that would power on. But if your player goes through the entire game without getting on base via hit, then that ability, that skill is never going to activate. And uh, so as you can see, a level one skill to upgrade is... 10 skill tokens and 15,000 gold. And uh, where Pablo is currently at, a level 4 is 50 skill tokens and 100,000 gold. Um, so, going, uh, just like going through uh, some of my thought process on, uh, ha on which ones to use, like as you can see, like if I'm just skimming through this real quick, they pretty universally now they do oh, okay all except mario use this skill the tenacious play batting eye and speed so you want increased bat all right so i like increased batting eye because knowing where that ball is going to end up while you're batting is probably more important than the swing you choose and uh your ability to read whether it's uh, shifting. Uh, it's a very important thing. Plus, it also increases your speed. That's good It because, A, that doesn't specify when it increases your speed. It doesn't say when batting. It just says speed plus 5. So your speed is affected at the very least while you're running bases, if not while you're playing in your position. Um, what did I give Mario? I mean, Luigi. Luigi, I gave. Oh, the one losing. Um, I and I honestly only did that because I thought that I think I'm going to switch a few of the other guys away from that just to, to vary it up a bit. Give some of them a when losing bonus, some of them when winning bonus. Um, as first baseman, uh, fielding is very important for him, and throwing is not very important for him. So he got the all-fielding bonus. Oh my god, Emily! I'm trying to do something, and you don't need to update me every 30 seconds. Uh, and then pitchers. <clears throat> Fireballer. Fastball plus two. Uh, the speed of your fastball effectively affects the speed of all of your pitches in general. Breaking ball plus two. That means better breakage. Control plus four. Better control, obviously. You're going to stay on the mound longer. All stats plus three. That's pretty much the way to go. All of your stats increase. It's a little less... No, it's at level 3, and it's still only plus 3. That's control plus 4 for a level 1, but that does every single stat, not just control, not just fastball, etc. Uh, all pitches when in scoring position, plus 2. So, you know, if no one's on base, you're pitching normal. If they're on second or third, everything gets better. Uh... Control plus two, breaking ball plus two when winning. As a primary relief, that's good for a relief pitcher. Tenacious play, all stats plus two when losing. That would also be good for a relief for a closer. All stats plus three against the next batter after a strikeout. That's so specific, and you can't guarantee a strikeout or anything, so I don't really like it. I don't really like that one. Uh, let's see. Fielding of players gets a plus one while this pitcher's in the game. Speed when fielding of players increases. 
Agility of all players. Throwing of all players. Batting eye of all players. Speed when offense of all players. Contact of players. Power of all players. Um, so basically, um, I don't really have any strict advice or things that I think are the best for these. Son of a bitch, I just spilled my coffee. Um, I think, uh, that unlike me, uh, one thing that I want to do is actually switch some of them up. I think that you should use a variety of skills, uh, like, especially when it comes to the pitchers. Uh, have some of your relief be plus when winning, some of them plus when losing. Your closer should probably be plus when winning. Hi, did you wake up? Uh, I should have just left you on me, huh? Because nothing happened. And um, for like your batting and everything, I personally find batting eye and speed to be your best bets as a batter on base uh, or a batter at bat uh, because batting eye again like a, even for a practiced person like myself the batting eye is probably the best stat oh, heavy baby uh, because again knowing where that pitch is starting and being able to tell if it's actually going to go there is really good um, and I, so, and then when it comes to the pitchers, I know, you know, not everybody has like the same pitchers I do, you know, maybe you have a guy who really specializes in breaking balls. So you want to give him that breaking a ball plus two or whatever it was just to make him that much better. Ow. Or, uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, your starting pitchers should have um, con good control so they can stay on the mound longer. And uh, um, yeah, and that's kind of it. I mean, honestly, like they're helpful. And like while you're playing the game, you can see, um, you know, when uh, you're setting up for a pitch or you're waiting for a pitch as a batter and it has uh, both the batter and the pitcher's uh, name and like little picture and um, their stats on screen it has those two little squares those are the skills if the outline of uh, the skill square is highlighted like it is on screen during a game that means that the skill is activated um, so you can keep track during the game of whether you're getting the bonuses or not. It's honestly, as long as you're, as long as you're paying attention while you play, and you're increasing the stats of your players appropriately, these skills are merely uh, little bonuses to help you out when you need them. So since they're so technically unimportant in the scheme of things. Like, they're probably helping me a lot more now than uh, I felt like they were uh, several leagues ago. But I'm very tempted to change, like, all of my skills to the uh, to something that is when losing or when tied. Because as much as it, you know, helps you pull away even more while you're already winning. Like, if you're already winning, then you don't really necessarily need more help winning. And in tied situations, you need to break ahead. And in losing situations, you need to catch up. And now that I'm in the World League, like it's just that much more difficult to play this game. So, uh, you know, I would, I would give every single player at least two skills. I would not concern myself with leveling up said skills until uh, the leagues became too difficult. You know, 
the first time you have to repeat a league because it's absolutely necessary, that's when you should start increasing skills. Because, I mean, I can't say this enough. It's just a bonus. It. I don't think it makes that much of a difference even when active. I've never... I've never really noticed how being activated makes a player like distinguishedly better. Oh my fucking god, Emily. Can you please like not multitext me? Like it's very irritating. I really hate that like shit like this happens when I'm recording a video. Now I'm just like this angry dude on this video. And I'm just trying to make a calm little thing when I was alone. Now the baby's awake and Emily's blowing me up. <sighs> I know. I know. It's so. Oh, what's wrong? Okay. Owen is upset. I think. I, I feel like I've said my piece. Um, ask me any questions you have. Hey, 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 hey. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Ask me anything uh, I didn't that you still need answered. Uh, I'll see you guys down in the comments. Please like, please subscribe, please share, and comment away. I know this was definitely my worst tutorial yet. I can redo this at some point if it's necessary. Let me know if this was at all helpful because I feel like I kind of just wasted 17 minutes of all our lives. All right. Bye.